Hi, this is Jake Tsuwagar. Um, I'm a Japanese manga artist uh, living in Brighton. And today I'm going to tell you how to draw a basic manga face. Please enjoy. If you have a pencil and paper, it's great. If you are on the top with a tablet and then pen, it's also great. Please just follow my instruction. First of all, I will show you what I'm going to draw today. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to draw today. And then now I will give you a step-by-step -step how to build up to this result. First of all, let's start if you have a like blue lead pencil or if you don't have it, it doesn't matter. You just use very weak pressure on your pencil and uh, draw a circle like this. This is a very, very basic and then it's a kind of first step to how to get the face shape right. So you don't worry about it too much if it's not perfect, perfect circle. And then don't even try to draw it like, like one go, you know, not a lot of people get it the perfect circle, just one go. So use just those short strokes and get that circle, perfect circle as much as possible. And then divide this into four like that evenly. And next step is extend this line. As you can guess, the end of this tip going to be the tip of the chin. And so once you decide how long that is going to be, I will ask you to connect this point to this point, this point to this point. So the thing is, if you make this line longer, you ended up drawing a face with longer face. And if you extend this line very short or not extend it at all, you will get rounder face. And rounder face character looks kind of younger, cuter, and longer face character looks a kind of cool, cooler, sharp, you know, or more grown-ups. Today, I'm going to make kind of very average kind of face. So I would say this is my average kind of face. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you how centimeters you should get extend this bit, but you know, that kind of things is for you to judge, for you to decide because it's the end of the day. There's no such thing one manga style, but you are manga style and you have to kind of set the standard. So this is kind of my average manga face. Are you still using very weak pressure on your pencil? I hope so. And the next thing is just check where about the eyes are going to be. I would say the eye would be somewhere around here, here, just under this line. But again, it depends on what kind of face do you want to draw. You can move it a little bit up or lower. But changing the position of eyes would make the big difference on the impression of the face. So think about it carefully. And nose. And So now is we can get where about the ears now because Let's say this is the center of eye. If we extend this triangle there, 
This is where years should start. This should be like this. From here, that way. Like that. And then this eye also can indicate love idea of where about the neck would be. And this is a shoulder. And now I want to adjust a little bit because uh, this is a slightly loud, louder than I want to. So I make some adjustment. And if you using pencil you just use erasers but not don't love it too much to you know it does it damage your paper and then if you want to ink it later damaged paper would make a you know smudge or bleed so be gentle with everything if you're using a tablet use your eraser as much as you want. <laughs> and now I'm adding a little bit more details to get the face right. So he's smiling a little bit. And then now I'm adding the hair. So I think I'm going to talk about hair in different videos, but basically decide what kind of fringe. I decided to make, uh, give him a like side parted hair. So this is where his hair parted. This is how his fringe looks like. And then, you know, this is his cow almost. So always think about there's a volume on top of the this template skull kind of things. So it's kind of idea is giving the character a really nice wig on top of this. So think about the volume. And now think about the kind of shape. I just go for the very simple shape with little side bun here and a little bit of hair behind. A little bit more strong than here. So before inking, I add a little bit more details. This adjust it. You know, this is a quite important to you know get the or everything right. You just need to plan properly to get everything right. Okay. Sometimes quite often people get not enough get not enough volume on a hair, so check the balance. No, and let him wear t-shirts. And if you if you think it's too messy, you just use, you know, if you were using pencil and paper, love unnecessary line of really, really softly. You don't have to erase everything off at the moment. But if there is too many lines which makes you confused you should get rid of those lines, those 
thinking, you need to the, you need precise control, and then you have to shoot the light rise to aim. So, so this is lovely. Okay, now is the time for inking. You just be careful with, if you're using pencil and paper, use your pencil uh, quite, uh, put, uh, use a strong pressure on your pencil. And if you have a like uh, extra, um, not extra, if you have a pen, use a pen. And then if you are on the computer, create a new layer, it's quite important, and pick up your favorite pen, uh, then start. I usually start inking with some important area, which is, for me, is face line, because it's going to be afraid of all the Facial folks. If you are drawing analog, just be careful, much more than me doing it. If you're using a computer, that's our advantage to redo it and erase it again and again. But if you, even if you are using analog, it's always a way to uh, adjust it. So don't worry about it too much, but be careful. I mean, take care of everything and then, you know, uh, take it easy, you know, it's a kind of key to draw nice manga face. And next thing, I usually go for eyes because I find it eyes are very important for manga drawing because um, face, which shoulder, uh, emotion of the character. And then showing emotion is very important thing in manga generally. I will give um, another uh, tutorial, my workshop video, especially for eyes. So don't worry about it too much. So this is, I add most of the facial parts. Now I'm adding the detail of eyes. How to draw eyes are buried in a lot of people. Artists have a different way to draw eyes. So as I said, I give you some more how to draw eyes more in depth in another workshop video, so I hope you defer that. And then next thing is another important thing, it's very dominant thing, is hair. Just whenever you are drawing hair, just think about your kind of shaping, actually shaping someone's hairstyle. So you kind of think you know, this goes this way. Make this a little bit like that to cut from. And here I got some side bun. 
an ears ears bam buck the hair okay now if you were using uh honorable just delays unnecessary lines again so it should be looked like that now it's time to adding some uh, details such as line for the hair you don't have to adding all single lines of hair but you just need to indicate where about here's a start and going and also adding some hair where here it layers and where I have uh, some shadows like here here and also I make enhance some lines like here here where the shadow would be. So it gives us some kind of depth. And also adding some more details like inside of the ear. Rest of the eyebrows, some shadows under the chin, some details here, and t shirts, and some shadows inside. If you have like white, nice thick white ink, you can add light, these kind of things later. If you don't have that kind of ink, you can actually have to plan it first where about you're adding a highlight. And also add a little bit of logic check, logic check. And he's almost done. Thank you very much for wait, uh, watching. I hope you've got something like this and I will give us some more video for uh, eyes and some other details. So please watch out. Thank you very much.